Hello everyone, welcome to Online Mass TV. Today we have a challenge on the board. The question says 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n equal to 1984. What there will be the possible value of m and n? All right, if you're new here, kindly subscribe. And when you subscribe, do not forget to turn on the bell notification button. Now, in this question, I've solved a similar question of this kind, but I use a different approach in solving that um, challenge. The question is showing up here, but today I'm going to use uh, a similar but different approach in solving this same one. So you can watch the two videos and see uh, what the difference uh, is or where the difference lies, okay? So let's take our solution then we have here yes, selection we put down the question which is 2 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of n equal to 1984 okay now if you look at this question you will discover that your m is greater than n okay in other words we have your m is greater than your n okay because the bases are the same since the bases are the same so what happened, this figure, this integer here, will be greater than this over here. So if this is greater than this, what does that mean? It means your m is equal to your n plus a set of constants. Let's use k, okay? So if this is equal to plus a set of constants, what happened? So we can replace our m with what we have here. So we can rewrite this expression as your 2 to the power of your n plus your k, the minus 2 to the power of n, all right, the equal to our 1984. Easy. Then we open up this. According to the um, law of indices, which says that if you have your a to the power of x plus y, this is equal to your a to the power of x, the times your a to the power of y. So if we succumb to this rule, we can rewrite this because what we have here is in this format. So let's convert it to this format. And so this will give us here your 2 to the power of n times, or uh, you can use dot, let's use dot here, dot your 2 to the power of k minus your 2 to the power of n equals to 1984. We can factor out 2 to the power of n because we have 2 to the power of n here, 2 to the power of n here. So let's factor out your 2 to the power of n on this other side. So let's continue on this side. All right. Let's erase this. Okay. So if we bring our 2 here to the power of n, then we are left with 2 to k, then minus 1, the bracket plus equal to 1, 9, 8, 4. Easy. Now, what we do here is to simplify this, okay? The base number we have here is 2. We also have 2 as a base number here. So, let's use 2 to divide this down. So, if we use 2 to divide this down, we're going to get 2 to the power of 6 times your um, um, 31. In other words, that is 64 times 31. We give up 1984. So, we can rewrite this Part as our 2 to the power of k minus 1 plus bracket equal to your 64 times 31. Okay? So at this point, what we do, we equate this to this, equate this to this. So we have this to this and we equate this to this. Alright, so we take the first case which is 2 to the power of n equal to your 64. Now, with what we have here now, 2 to, uh, 2 to the power of n equal to 64, we can express 64 in base 2. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 6. Okay? So from here, we now have 2n equal to 2 to the power of 6. So this, this will leave. So therefore, n is equal to your 6. We've gotten the value of n. Now, look at what I want to do here. We could as well solve for the power of k, substitute it into this equation to get our m. But here lies the difference between the first question, the first challenge I solved that is similar to this. Okay? There, I solve for this k, but here I'm not going to solve for k. I'm going to skip this part. 
and use this expression we have here to solve for my n direct. Okay, that is just a simple or a, a simple shall, a difference rather. That is just a simple difference uh, I'm going to apply here now. So what I do here is this. Look at this expression I have here now. I will come to my first equation. So from equation one, we have two to the power of m minus two to the power of n equal to your one nine eight uh, four. Simple. All right. Now, if you look at this expression here, we're having two to the power of n is equal to sixty four. So I could as well put sixty four in this place. So this will now give me. 2 to the power of m minus 64 equal to 1984. So send this to this other side to give you 2 to the power of m equal to 1984 plus 64. So we cannot go ahead to add up this. So let's go on on this other side again. So we have your 2 to the power of m equal to, if we add this, here will give us here 8. Okay, there are six plus uh, this will give us your four, and here we have zero carry. So we have two zero four eight. Easy. So from here now we can express this in base two. So this will now give us two to the power of m equal to. If you express this in base two, this will give you two to the power of eleven. The bases are the same. So again, this leaves. So we have m is equal to. 11. So therefore, we cannot say therefore our um, m, our m is equal to 11 and our n is equal to 6. All right. Now, if you look at this, we said m must be greater than n from our first expression here. So if you plug this in here and we plug this in here and carry out your subtraction, it will give you 1984. All right, so this marks the end of this uh, simple Olympiad challenge, okay? Um, using a different approach, though the approach is similar to the first one, but uh, from this point, you have a deviation from the normal approach which other mathematicians use, okay? So um, if you have a better way of solving this challenge, drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you and if you observe any error in the process of solving this challenge also drop it in the comment section and we are good at replying to all comments okay remember this is all i must tv and my name remains jigs anemo you know what we love you so much because you are always there you made us proud in the time past and you are still there watching our content it's an indication that you love all i must tv bye for now